All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rikah Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing the work of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which he commanded us to. Uh, let's see. Let's see, so like it for this, uh, hopefully I can, I'm still recording, uh, and have my headphones on, this, so let's plug them. Uh, call on Allah, Yen Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rikah, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone, taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, today's, uh, video is coming from CNN Politics, and this is, uh, you can see uh, the caption that's under this uh, drone. It says, uh, Russian fighter jet force, forces down U.S. drone over Black Sea after uh, intercept. Okay, so, you know what? Let's look this word up, intercept. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Wikipedia. Now we get the diction, dictionary uh, uh, meaning. It says uh, intercept, stop, intercept, uh, obstruct uh, someone or something. So as the uh, as to prevent them from uh, continuing to a destination. Okay, so this interception was. Uh, done by the Russian fighter jet, okay, and this is today, okay, so uh, this is March 14, 2023, this is the year of the uh, all hope, uh, prophecy hopefully to uh, pass, and we're definitely in that stage of a lot of prophecy passing, and uh, you know, especially with the, uh, the banks, uh, you know, um, crashing, uh, I believe that's the uh, correct name I'm using, uh, but I believe it's a hundred billion in uh, lost assets. Uh, I could be wrong. No, one time I seen it was fifty, fifty billion. Then uh, maybe a few hours later, I heard a hundred billion. Okay, roughly uh, in that area. Okay, so let's read this. It says Russian fighter jet forced down a U.S. Air Force drone over the Black Sea on Tuesday after damaging the propeller of the American MQ-9 Reaper drone, according to the U.S. military. Said the uh, Reaper drone and two Russian Su-27 aircraft were flying over international waters over Black Sea on Tuesday when one of the Russian jet uh, intentionally flew in front of and dumped fuel on the unmanned drone several times. A statement from U.S. Uh, European commander said the aircraft then hit the propeller of the drone, promoting the U.S. forces to bring the MQ-9 drone down in international waters. So it's the international waters where, uh, I believe, what they mean by international waters, meaning that anyone could be there. So let's look this word up, international. Okay, it says global, existing, occurring, or carrying, or between two or more nations. So uh, I don't believe this is a Russian uh, own land, or uh, own, or whatever they call uh in their airspace or whatever. So it was international waters. Uh, it says our MQ-9 aircraft was conducting routine operation in international space. So it was an international space, okay? It says when it was intercepted by, intercepted and hit by a Russian aircraft, resulting in a crash and a complete loss of the MQ-9 Air Force General James B. Heckler, commander of the U.S. Force, Forces, European, uh, Europe, and Air Force uh, Africa, said in a statement, in fact, this unsafe and unprofessional act by Russia nearly caused both aircraft to crash. 
okay so you can see right there uh right here where it has uh u.s and your uh air force and and uh and uh air force africa so that's letting you know that uh, america has uh military bases in different countries man okay which i believe uh they they uh own a lot of air bases uh in other lands uh pretty much referring to uh i believe the book of joel uh amos that uh uh let's see that they uh have uh uh let's see I think is it joel uh it's either in amos uh joel i'm thinking uh let's see it's like for this uh this is uh i just happened to check that and and seen that uh let's see it might not be a most of joel oh yeah let's see i'm looking for uh uh, no, it's Habakkuk, Habakkuk, Salaki. So let's read Hab uh, Hab uh, Habakkuk, uh, chapter 2 and verse uh, 4. Uh, verse 5, let's see, yeah, verse 5. Uh, Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 5, it said, Yea, also because they, he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, need the keeper at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, uh, and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gather unto himself all nations he heapeth unto all people uh, I believe that's what I was looking for uh, I don't, maybe that wasn't the one I was actually looking for uh, verse 8 let's jump down uh, Habakkuk uh, chapter 2 and verse 8 it says because thou hast spoiled many nations all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwelleth therein. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so America's definitely have spoiled, uh, let's see. Uh, verse 6 is what I skipped. I believe this is, was the one I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I, I read it. I read it. So like, uh, I, I, didn't, I read it so fast that I kind of jumped over. But uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5 was, it says, Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is also a proud man, neither keeper at home. So, you know, uh, and you have a lot of nations starting to, well, well, you know, not just now, but they've been doing it because America has uh, pretty much uh, took over the world, you know, with uh, the different military uh, bases in other countries, man. Okay, so let's read on here in this uh, article. This article is not very long, uh, so I just want to touch on this. And, uh, uh, bring out a few scriptures uh it says uh okay here we go it says the incident marked the first time russian and u.s military aircraft have come into direct contact since russian uh russia uh, launched its invasion of ukraine just over a year ago and it's likely to increase tension between the two nations yeah it's, and you think about it all these different uh, like uh, nations are, are are starting to get into it with America, man. You know, like I believe the last one was with China. Uh, and, and and when I read this article, it made me think about the same thing that uh, America did with the uh, Chinese balloon. You know, it was supposed to have been like some type of weather uh, balloon. Uh, it wasn't a threat or whatever, but it just happened to be in uh, the United States Air Force. I mean, air airspace. Okay, it says just over a year ago and likely to increase tension between two nations. 
the two nations, which U.S. calling Russia, actions reckless, uh, environmentally unsound, and unprofessional. Joe Biden was, was briefed on the incident uh, by uh, uh, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Tuesday morning, according to National Security uh, Council Communication Co uh, Coordinator uh, John Kirby. Kirby, uh, he said it is it was not uncommon for Russian aircraft to intercept U.S. aircraft over the Black Sea and said there has been uh, other interceptions, uh, intercepts in uh, recent weeks. But he said on Tuesday, he said the episode Tuesday was unique in how unsafe and professional and reckless the, the Russian actions were. CNN, CNN has asked the Russian military, I mean Ministry of uh, Defense to comment. Uh, Russian and U.S. aircraft have operated over the Black Sea during the course of the Ukraine war, but this is the first known such interaction, a particularly dangerous uh, escalation at a critical time in fighting. It says the U.S. has been operating Reaper drones over the Black Sea since before the beginning of the war, using the spy drones to monitor uh, the area. Reaper drones can fly as high as 50,000 uh, 50, uh, 50, feet, according to the Air Force, and they have sensors and capability to uh, gather intelligence and perform a reconsistence uh, re assistance for extended periods of time, making it an ideal platform to track movements on battlefield in the Black Sea. Okay, so... They saying that the, the this Reaper was a uh, a spy drone to uh, collect uh, uh, different uh, uh, movements on the battlefield in the Black Sea. So uh, you know, Russia want all the smoke, <laughs> and you know, uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see, uh, how's it go? Let's, let's, it was something else I wanted to look up to see. Was it, uh, was it, uh, was it Chinese balloon? Uh, uh, yeah. So this is pretty much the same thing. Okay, so you see the Chinese, uh, it says what we know so far about the Chinese spy balloon and other objects. So it says the giant spy balloon taller than a Statue of Liberty was shot down in the U.S. airspace uh, in early February. Three other objects were shot. So now we have it. So the same thing that uh, America has done. <laughs> it's being done unto them, you know, it's just as the scriptures say. Okay, let's get this. Uh, this is Joel chapter 3, uh, verse 1. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So I'm bringing that out because uh, this here is kind of escalating to uh, different countries that, you know, the Lord is... Uh, gonna have his angels to put the spirit on to uh you know go to war with each other okay so this is just another few for the fire verse 2 joel chapter 3 and verse 2 it says uh, i will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of, of jehoshaphat and will plead with them therefore my people for all my for my heritage israel so the lord is making them fight uh, for the, uh, you know, uh, the judgment of, uh, of, of putting their hands on uh, the Lord's people, you know, the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? Which they, you know, they're going to be in a mindset of thinking otherwise that, you know, ain't got nothing to do with us, so 
but they're going to fight and the Lord is just, uh, escalating, you know, uh, what you call a, uh, uh, inf uh, not escalated, but it's going to escalate. But the word I'm looking for is the, uh, what word am I looking for? Uh, instigating. Yeah. Instigating, uh, uh, the fight, you know, that's what the angels job is to do, you know, they holding back the wind for winds, which meaning, uh, the destruction. Okay. Until that, you know, the, you know, uh, the Lord's, uh, elect the seal. All right. It says, I will also gather all the nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which Jehoshaphat is, uh, Yahweh Shapat in the uh, Hebrew meaning Yahweh's judgment. It says, I will plead, uh, with them for my people and for my heritage, Israel. See, it says, for they have scattered among the nations." And part of my land, and they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. So this is going into why the Lord has done this, okay? But ultimately, you know, uh, Yahweh's judgment is going to kick off, okay? Along with all the other things that are going on in the news, you know. Right now, this devil knows that he has but a short time. So I just wanted to bring that out, you know, because this is uh, some more news to uh, pretty much uh, to escalate the, uh, the downfall of this society. You know, the Lord is, uh, uh, is the master chess player, <laughs> you know. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end it and give all praise and honor to you. How about Shemi Abishai, by Shemi Kankwadash. Double honesty to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutation to the brothers out the four corners of the earth that's prophesying and, you know, doing the work that the Lord Yahweh Bashimi Abishai commanded us to do. All in truth and sincerity, man. Okay. So with that being said, a shout of one and, uh, you know, definitely to the hopeful elect.